River Resort and Casino, we like to celebrate life's little moments. Oh, and the big ones too. Because around here, when you're completely in the moment, that's when the magic happens. Come in and find your moment at Wind River Resort and Casino. All right, happy Wednesday morning to you. You're watching Coffee with Kruger, and I'm, of course, having my cup of coffee. Mm -mm. So good. How are you doing on this? Uh, oh, boy. I need to go into the as I go into the chat, oh my goodness. So uh, I'm not going to be able to interact with you folks on chat this morning because I've got to do, I, I had to re-log. You know, there's this software program that I use that's all online. And every once in a while, there's this whole security thing where it wants you to re-log in. And I, I went into what I needed to, to, to log in. And now to get into the chat, I need to do the email login. And it, it does all this stupid stuff where you got to do the robot. Make sure you're not a robot. You got to see which, which of the images have a motorcycle in it. And so by the time I do all that, it's going to be like five minutes or several minutes. And I don't want to waste your time with that. So uh, I will try to keep an eye on at least Facebook. Let me see if I can do Facebook here uh, and kind of check some of the chat. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do that. I can I can try to do that. It's going to be kind of hard to monitor everything here, but I'll do the best that I can, folks. Uh, again, I, I, get, I apologize. I'm not going to be as interactive with you today. Thanks to security, we wouldn't have to worry about all this stupid, you know, internet security stuff if people could just be good to one another. Why do we have to try to steal each other's identities? I mean, my wife, she just had to, she has to get a whole new credit card again. Uh, this just literally happened the last few days. She's been getting all of these unauthorized charges on her credit card. Someone stole her identity, and now she's got to go through the get a whole new credit card, get all of her bill, all her automatic bills redone. Oh, it's just a total pain. Why can't we all be good to one another, right? Why why can't we live in that kind of world? That's the kind of world I want to live in. All right, enough of my soapbox. I don't know how I went from I got to log into my chat to why can't we live in a better world? Um, looks like everything's streaming okay. Is everything okay? I guess it is. Okay. Um, yeah, everything is okay. Well, tell you what, let's uh, let's get you to what's going on with the forecast. Get you out the door this morning uh, because some of you who just kind of want to get in, watch Coffee with Kruger to start off. Get yourself out the door, and then you're good to go. We start off, of course, with the Reading Rodeo, and that, of course, kicks off today. Friday and Saturday's tickets are all sold out, so if you haven't had a chance to uh, get your tickets, well, you at least can try to get them for today uh, and or tomorrow. So be sure to check that out. If you are heading out to the Reading Rodeo today, be prepared for some hot weather. Make sure you've got something to keep you cool, something to keep you hydrated. Uh, wear that sunscreen. Uh, you know, Make sure you protect yourself from the sun as well. But the gates open at 5 p.m., okay? So that's when it will be the hottest. Temperatures will start to drop probably closer to about 94 degrees by the time the rodeo actually starts. Then as we get about 8 o'clock, we're in the upper 80s, so it is cooling off. And then as the sun sets, getting closer to the end of the parade, of the, of the parade, of the rodeo, we're down to the low 80s by 9 p.m. and upper 70s by 10 o'clock tonight. So that should make things uh, a lot more pleasant out there. Uh, I can see Bill Carlton is saying, great coffee, beautiful day here in Red Bluff. Have a great day. Thank you, Bill. I hope you're having yourselves a great day as well. Uh, so that's what it looks like if you're heading out to the rodeo out there today. Let's take a look at the current conditions and the winds have actually picked up a little bit this morning. You may have noticed that in the Reading area. Uh, that's keeping the temperatures up. I mean, 77 degrees right now in Reading. 68 degrees. Now, keep in mind, the normal high for this time of the year is 81. So already at 7.04 this morning, it's in the upper 70s for Reading. We're already approaching the normal high for today. So yeah, you can bet it's going to be a warm one out there today. I mean, look at Bernie. Uh, 41, 62 degrees in Shingletown, 53 degrees for Alturas. And uh, looks at those temperatures kind of updating here. Redway, 56, 50 out in uh, Eureka and 56 degrees right now in Crescent City. Let's get you out the door this morning for your May 15th on Wednesday. Now, when we look at this, I'm not seeing a lot of fog out there on the coast. So uh, 
this is kind of going off some semi-automated data. Sometimes I, tr I have time to get in there and change it all. Uh, but uh, we are actually seeing some clearing. In fact, let's take a look at the camera uh, out in uh, just north of Trinidad. And you can kind of see there might be some some mid-level clouds kind of filtering through, but I do expect to see some more clearing here uh, for many of the um, many of the coastal locations. In fact, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, what it looks like out there right now, the visibility. And the vis visibility is looking good. So again, uh, when you look at that out the door forecast, just kind of remind yourself that that's not looking at the foggy conditions. But it is going to be a mild and warm start to the day for many of us, thanks to that big ridge of high pressure that is in place. And when we look at future cast, we may see some of that fog and low clouds make their way back to around the Eureka area. But otherwise, I do expect to see some sunshine here through a good portion of the day today, even along the coast. But by tonight, we may see that fog return for Eureka and some of those inland valleys as well. Otherwise, sunny skies elsewhere. Here's your fire weather risk with those north winds today. We could see gusts upwards around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the areas in orange is where you're kind of in that high range. Now, again, keep in mind, and this is something I do want to stress, is that we are not in the height of our fire danger and fire season, but we're in the beginning phases here. We still have fuels out there, right? There are fuels out there to burn, but the moisture in the atmosphere, the moisture in those fuels, there still is enough to kind of really prevent those fires from really getting terribly out of control. And it's easier for the firefighters to get a handle on them. That being said, it's now that time of the year we need to be more mindful of the weather conditions, what those weather conditions are like for the day, so we can go through our day and do, and if those, if there are things that we're doing through the day that can start a new fire, that maybe we start to kind of think about how we go about doing that and maybe not even doing it. And today may be one of those days just to kind of get yourself in the habit of, hey, you know, it's going to be a little breezy out there, the humidity will be low, and it's going to be very hot. The combination of all three of those things really does elevate that fire danger. Now, the good news is by tomorrow, the winds will shift from the south. This will lower our fire danger. And this is going to be a big contributing factor to the cooler temperatures the valley will see for tomorrow. So that's why the valley is going to see a peak in the heat wave today. But the mountains will actually see a peak in the heat wave tomorrow. Again, it all has to do with the microclimate of that delta breeze. Now, the north winds will pick back up again, but not that strong on Friday. You'll see we're barely in that kind of that low to moderate category with that fire danger. So, again, we talk about what we can do to prevent those fires. Don't drive on gra dry grass. Secure those chains if you're towing a trailer. Never, and I don't believe I have to report this, but it is something that needs to be said because I still see people doing it. Never toss your cigarettes on the ground from your car anywhere, right? That's just common sense. It's trash, too. Use grills on gravel and paved surfaces. Now, that's a good idea. You want to make sure because, you know, if, if you get even sparks coming from the grills, uh, you don't want that to kind of spark from those dry grasses. Mow your lawn early in the morning and when it's not windy or excessively dry. Well, today, I wouldn't say it's going to be windy, but it will be a little bit on the breezy side and it will be hot and it will be excessively dry. OK, so we need to be we need to be careful. And never leave fires unattended and always properly extinguish those fires. Okay, look at the high temperatures we saw yesterday. Uh, and you can see mid to upper 90s in the valley. Did see about 82 degrees for Susanville, 90 in Bernie. Look at Weaverville, Hayfork, 92, 93 in Hoopa. And of course, it was much cooler on the coast, upper 50s to about 60 degrees. But today, there you have it. Some of us could touch 100 degrees, especially Red Bluff northward. As you head south, probably more like the upper 90s, places like Corning, Chico, Oroville, and not to mention Willows. Now in the mountains, boy, a lot of us are in the 80s. Some of those highest elevations like eastern Siskiyou County, the high plains of Modoc County, uh, more like the upper 70s. Mid 90s for Trinity County, mid 90s for the inland areas, and we could be, I'd say, between 65 and 70 degrees along the coast. So we look at that seven day outlook, and this is what I was talking about. Today is the peak of the heat wave, but by tomorrow, more of a south wind, so a little bit of a delta breeze, and that's going to keep those, that's going to drop those temperatures back down to the low 90s. Now, we keep in the low 90s through Saturday, and we drop our temperatures even more by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. Now, for the coast, again, you peak a little bit today, temperatures low 60s after that through the extended period. Now, the inland areas, yeah, there you can see, uh, should be in the upper 80s, 
uh, by tomorrow and continue to drop in the 70s by Sunday. Now, for the northern and eastern mountains, since we don't have the delta breeze, it'll actually be warmer tomorrow and then temperatures start to drop again. Upper 70s by Friday, Saturday from Mount Shasta and then low 70s and even upper 60s here by next Monday and Tuesday. So absolutely gorgeous, good weather out there after we can get past this heat wave. Oh my gosh, did I just do that? I did that whole forecast. <laughs> oh, folks. Oh, I am sorry. My goodness. See, this is, this is what I talk about. We need weather NorCal to grow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to camera here. We need weather NorCal to grow. We need to get to a point where we're getting more advertisers. We're bringing in more revenue. So I can have people doing this stuff that I'm pushing buttons. And I don't have to worry about what's on camera and what's not on camera. See, and this is where chat would have been nice too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, hi, Kenny. How are you? Um, hi, Frank. Hi, Shelly. Um, good morning, Bill. Good morning, everybody. How embarrassing. My gosh. <sighs> Tell you what, let's, let's go back to the top. You need to see the forecast. And for those of you that wanted to see it, and <sighs> tell you what, Let's just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this because, because I had all of this in this weird delay. Uh, I'm going to take you right to the deep dive forecast. I'm going to put on my coat. Uh, I'm going to mention the sponsor again, which is Wind River. And we're going to go, and I'm going to push the button now. We are now on the weather maps. We're on the weather maps. And now you can actually see what I'm talking about instead of just an image of... <laughs> oh, You know, people have asked me, over the years, and not over the years, uh, over the last year, how's retirement? You know, after I left TV, uh, because I didn't realize that, that uh, you know, uh, I'm still doing my thing. And as things like this happen, I start to my think, think to myself, am I getting old and I just, my brain just doesn't function the way it used to? Because these things happen and I'm like, Come on, like seriously, to, to spend five minutes talking about a forecast and not realizing that during that forecast, you were looking at an image of a camera and basically just hearing me talk about the forecast but not having the images behind it. I'm not even that old, but my brain, I tell you what, sometimes it just doesn't function. It's like, what? Ugh. I know. I, I'm too hard on myself. I am. I know. I try not to be, but listen, I'm all about perfection and giving you the best source of information. And when things like this happen, I, I, don't, I don't like it. I want you to have a trust, trustworthy, reliable source of information. And uh, my oh my, friend, my friends. All right. Here we are 15 minutes into the show and I haven't even really given you anything, probably anything useful of information. <laughs> All right. Made possible by Wynn River. At Wynn River Resort and Casino, enjoy friendly service, a wide variety of specials and promotions, plus all of your favorite slots and table games. And it's for sponsors like these, by the way, friend, my friends, that they make this possible. They make what you're watching possible and what I'm doing here possible. I could just make my brain function better and know that what you're watching and what, it, what I'm watching are the same things. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at that current temperature. But first, <laughs> one thing after another. Oh my gosh. <sighs> are we there? Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's right now 77 degrees for Reading. We were talking about that north wind is kind of blown a little bit in the Reading area. And that's why those temperatures are up a bit higher. You head southward, the wind's not as strong, but still mild, still warm. 68 degrees in Chico, 53 for Alturas, 51 for Susanville, 41 for Bernie. We've got those low to mid 50s. 
All right, here's a look at your weather headlines. Increased fire danger. That's something I talked about. You didn't get to see, but we'll see that in a little bit more detail here in a second. Valley highs approaching, if not hitting 100 degrees today with a cooling trend, though, as we approach the weekend and highs much closer to normal, especially by the beginning of next week. That's all the heat that we're dealing with now is all thanks to this big arc in the clouds that you see here. That's the big ridge of high pressure, although the center of the ridge is still pretty far off to our west, so it could be hotter. Let's just put it that way. Now, there may be some clouds that will kind of return to the coast, otherwise mainly sunny skies for the rest of us. And then if we go into your Thursday morning, once again, maybe some fog along Eureka for some of those inland valleys, that's probably going to stick around through a good portion of the day. So mostly cloudy, at least for Eureka, maybe a little bit more sunshine for places like Crescent City, and then maybe some afternoon clouds for the higher elevations tomorrow. Friday morning, we are, of course, looking at sunny skies, maybe some fog along the parts of the coast, that will probably dissipate by Friday afternoon, although you can see it tries to return again for Friday afternoon for places around Eureka. All right, so it's, it's going to be warm. It's going to be dry. But talk about the now let's talk about the fire danger. This is something, again, I talked about a little bit earlier, but you didn't get to see it. North winds today. North winds, a couple of things that the north wind does around here. Number one, especially if it's strong enough and coming down those mountains, it, that, that air compresses and heats up. As a result, we see warmer temperatures. Number two, that air dries out, okay? So we see the drying uh, effect of those north winds as well. So things are gonna be fairly dry with the relative humidity. Okay, now we're gonna take in, by the way, these numbers here you're looking at are winds, okay? So they're gonna be coming more from the south for tomorrow morning. We're gonna see some recovery with better humidity levels. Then we take you into your Thursday afternoon, winds once again from the south. And this is something I was talking about. So by tomorrow, we're going to have a, a, a weak delta breeze, but enough of, of a south wind to really help to, to drop our temperatures down. However, we don't feel the impacts of that delta breeze in the mountains. So actually the peak of the heat wave for us in the valley will be today. For you in the mountains, it'll actually be tomorrow. Then we take you into your uh, Friday morning, we see some recovery. Again, see you'll see more greens in there at the higher humidity. Winds again from the north on Friday, but not as strong. And I do anticipate that uh, we'll be looking at lower humidity levels again. So we look at the fire weather risk. Now the fire weather risk, it takes into account the temperatures, the winds, and the humidity. Today, we're in those oranges. We're in that high category in the valley. We go into tomorrow with that south delta breeze. Now we're kind of more in that moderate category. It's not as dry tomorrow. Then we go into Friday. Remember you saw those winds coming from the north on Friday. So it bumps up a little bit. It'll be in that moderate range. But again, I think today is really the day that we've really got to be on the lookout for that. So as you're going out your daily activities, just think about ways that you can do throughout your day to prevent any new fires from starting. For example, if you're driving, towing a trailer, make sure that you're not having those chains aren't scraping the ground, right? Because those create sparks. If you're a smoker, don't toss those cigarettes out the window. I've seen it so many times. It's just not a smart thing to do, especially during the fire season. And this is another side note, it's trash. Would you take your wrapper that you're not using or a water bottle and just throw it out the window? Same concept, that's trash, okay? So, but that's also creating fire danger. Use your grills on gravel or a paved surface, right? So that kind of helps. Mow your lawn in the early morning hours. If it's not windy or hot or excessively dry, that's also a time you shouldn't mow as well. And then never leave those campfires unattended. And then when you're done with them, make sure that they are properly extinguished. All right, let's get out of that and talk about the temperatures. So for the valley, peaks today, Temperatures drop after that, closer to normal by the beginning of next week. We take a look at the mountains, peaks tomorrow because why? Again, no delta breeze, even though the winds will be from the south, we don't feel the impacts of the delta breeze in the mountains. So it's warmer on Thursday, but then we start to see the temperatures drop as well. So the overall trend is after today and tomorrow, we're really starting to see those temperatures begin to plummet, getting closer to normal. So it'll be hotter than cooler, all right? So hot today, it extends into the valley. Hot tomorrow as well for, you know, but again, that South Delta breeze will kind of help to kind of kick things in. But what's happening is these colder storm systems are riding to our north, not only flattening out the ridge of high pressure, and as we flatten the ridge, temperatures drop, but it's also pushing 
that ridge to the south and west. And look where that ridge goes. It just continues to migrate to the south and west. And as a result, that'll, that opens the door for cooler air to move in. So first shot of cooler air moves in on Sunday. Another shot of cooler air moves in for Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday of next week. That's when temperatures drop down closer to normal. In fact, the Climate Prediction Center is putting us in that below normal category. So could we see some upper 70s by early, mid next week? <laughs> boy, oh boy, it's not out of the question. And wouldn't that be nice? How about that precipitation outlook? It's near normal, but normal for this time of the year is fairly un unimpressive. So yeah, we might see a little bit of rain here looking down the pike here, but for now I'm keeping things fairly dry until we can kind of better handle on that. Look at the wave heights as we go into today. They're fairly high. They may drop a little bit here for your Thursday, but when we look at the marine forecast for today, what you'll notice here is that, yeah, we do have a hazardous seas warning out there with well, those north winds at about 10 to 20 knots. All right, so here is your detailed neighborhood, neighborhood by neighborhood forecast. Temperatures uh, for Weaverville and Trinity County, I think you'll peak today, but temperatures will start to drop after that. We take you into southern Trinity County, 91 for Ruth, 89 for Forest Glen, Mad River, about 85 degrees for your daytime high. Southern Humboldt County, your north coast forecast there, temperatures low 90s for the inland areas there. As we take you up north out towards Ferndale, how about 68 for your daytime high today, Fortuna about 75, and Rio Dell about 77. Now up north, some of the inland areas, boy, you're talking mid to maybe some upper 90s today, 96 for Hoopa as well as Willow Creek, 80 in Trinidad, Eureka about 66 degrees today. Now there may be a bit more sunshine for places like Crescent City, so you will be looking at temperature around 70, even warmer out towards Smith River with 81 and Oric about 78 degrees. Your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, 90 degrees out towards Horse Creek, otherwise in the low to mid 80s here along the I-5 corridor. There you can see about 80 degrees out in Scott Valley with Fort Jones at 80, 82 degrees for Greenview and Etna and Callahan about 83 degrees and your central and eastern Siskiyou County forecast. Temperature brought 81 for Weed, Mount Shasta City about 84, 86 for McLeod and some of those higher elevations up northeast. You're in the mid to upper 70s and most of Moda County in the 70s as well although some of us may touch that 80 degree mark like Likely and El Turris. Your Eastern Mountains neighborhood forecast. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s but those warmer spots like Montgomery Creek how about 90? 90 degrees for Paynes Creek, uh, Shingletown 86, but much cooler out in Viola with a high of about 79 degrees. Lake Almanor, Lassen Park, it's warming up there as well. There you can see those temperatures are dropping as we go into the next, uh, really for the next seven days. Uh, Paradise, a high of 90, 82 degrees for Mineral. There's Janesville, the high of 76. And then we've got Susanville topping out at about 84 degrees. How about your Valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by NorCal Tractor? Mainly upper 90s, but I think some of us could quite possibly touch that 100 degree mark, like Red Bluff, for example. We take you up north, 99 to 100 degrees. That's going to be kind of the borderline 100 degrees here, especially for Red Bluff northward. Let's take a look at your seven-day outlook for Redding. We've got the Redding Rodeo today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and today is the hottest day for the Redding Rodeo. After that, basically in the low 90s. So you have, looks like some slightly cooler weather to look forward to as we take you into, um, what's going on here? Did that, did that stay? Looks like it, okay, good, all right. Let's see if everybody, I, I apologize. I'm, I kinda, since I don't have the regular setup here this morning, I'm kind of, uh, a little off my rocker a little bit here. <laughs> All right, I am back. I am back. How's everybody doing this morning? Um, man, I'll tell you what. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for understanding. Again, I kind of went off uh, on a weird tangent this morning. Uh, but tell you what, uh, it's been kind of a weird day, uh, but hot. I think it's just the heat's maybe getting to me. I don't know. It's just hot, right? I mean, bottom line, Nobody likes the heat. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start up a little bit of music. How about a little, something a little lighter? How about just a little bit of fun? I mean, it's not a lot of fun, but it's something different. Let's take a look at what day it is today. So it's bring flowers to someone day. Do you know somebody you love or who likes flowers? 
Well, today is a day that you could bring them some flowers. How about National Juice Slush Day? I have a feeling maybe 7-Eleven had something to do with that. I don't know. Uh, I know my son would definitely want to celebrate that day. Who doesn't love a good juiced slush day? National Nylon Stocking Day. All right, that maybe comes right out of the 50s, it feels like. Uh, National Chocolate Chip Day. All right, who doesn't like a good chocolate chip? Um, maybe a chocolate chip cookie? Um, but uh, National Chocolate Chip Day. Okay, how about your, oh, this is a good one. Uh, National Peace Officers Day. Uh, Peace Officers Memorial Day. So that is today. So that's a good uh, day to kind of just uh, really appreciate our peace officers and, and uh, remember those that uh, lost their lives protecting all of us. So that is a great thing to remind ourselves of. All right, so there you go. We got that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave you with a couple of cameras out there uh, this morning and we are going to wrap up this disaster of a coffee with Kruger show this morning but at least I got the forecast out to you and as you know and one of the things I want to remind you is you know if if you were watching coffee with Kruger and you didn't get what you got needed out of it because again it just was not the best show but we'll, we'll get we'll have a better day tomorrow um, I want to remind everyone that I do have I was actually talking to someone yesterday um, who watches me on Facebook regularly and I, I asked him, I said, hey, do you have the app? He goes, you have an app? And I said, yeah. So I, he's been watching me on Facebook for a while, but didn't know I had an app. So if you're watching right now on Facebook and you're seeing this, get the app. And, and one of the cool things about the app is number one, it's, it's really focused on being local to this area. But number two, you can watch all of my video forecasts on the app. You can watch Coffee with Kruger on the app. You can watch the 24 hour streaming channel on the app. You can get your neighborhood forecast on. You get the idea. Everything that I offer here at Weather NorCal, you can get there right from your phone. And on top of that, also remember I have a Roku and Amazon Fire Stick app so you can watch the live 24-hour streaming channel on your TV. If you have YouTube on your TV, you can watch from the YouTube channel, uh, Weather NorCal YouTube channel. So just a lot of really cool stuff uh, for you to check out. Um, boy, I hope that's not a good representation of what's going on here, but uh, yeah. It's time for me to go. Uh, again, it's just one of those days I need to just uh, whew, kind of process the day, process what just happened and uh, get ourselves through the day. So let's take a look at, this is looking at Lake Orville. Now that's gorgeous. That's kind of going to help me get some peace in my mind. And it uh, looks pretty nice. So we will see you tomorrow morning. I should have my act together tomorrow morning. You know, what do you do? What do you do? So have yourselves a great day. Stay cool, stay hydrated. Uh, do what you can to help prevent any new fires from starting. And we will see you tomorrow morning. I will be more freshened up and more organized. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.
Thank you. 